to get on here and do a quick video about dog harnesses and leashes. I was taking Posey for a walk the other night and um, I had put one of her cute little harnesses on, but she just was really hyper that night and she was pulling quite a bit and I, she would start to make that kind of gagging noise because um, it's pushing against her neck. And I noticed that with another harness I use, she doesn't do that at all. So I thought I would do a quick little review on different types of harnesses. So I'm gonna put this little baby down. You wanna sit up here? Um, so it's really fun to buy, for me, I find it fun to buy different colored harnesses and leashes, and I just really enjoy putting different ones on her every time I take her out for a walk but I do lean towards certain ones because they seem to work a little bit better. When she was just a little baby puppy, I bought her this little standard black um, harness that is adjustable with these little doodads and you um, put it around their neck and then snap it around their chest. And I wanted to jazz it up a bit, so I just bought a pre-made bow with a little bit of rhinestone bling on there and I actually stitched it on by hand. So that one is always pink and black. She doesn't fit into that one anymore though. So this one is one that goes around the neck and chest. And it was perfect as a starter out, it was just fine. But as she grew, she got a little bit bigger and I started buying other things. Um, this one is the actual harness that she was wearing the other night when she was making some choking, coughing noises. Look how cute that is. It has some rhinestones up here. The leash attaches here and this goes around her um, chest and this goes around her neck. And it's just Velcro. It's a pretty heavy duty Velcro and it stays, I've never had an issue with it coming open. But this one does go around the neck again. Now this one though, let me just say really quickly, came with a matching leash and I bought this one online I think it's really cute. It looks good against her black fur. But this does cause some, when they're pulling, it does cause them to choke a little bit. So um, another one we have here is one I just bought. I think I bought this at Walmart. It's Velcro around the chest, but the neck is um, one of these little clip-in ones. And this one is a little bit more padded, more warm, so I do use it a little more in the winter, and it has the D-ring up here and a little embellishment around the waistline. Pretty cute, um, but I do feel like this one's a little too warm in the summertime. Another type of harness could actually be the clothing that your dog has. I don't take Posey for many walks in her dresses. They're usually for special occasions, but I do like to sew in a little D-ring at the waistline of her dog dresses. And so I can put this dress on her and then just attach a leash right there. And then I don't have to put a harness on top of her dress and cover it up. So that's another idea too. So the harness that doesn't seem to bother her when she's pulling is this harness right here. This is a leather harness. It's really soft and kind of like, I don't know, I would say buttery leather. It's firm enough that it's sturdy, but it is pretty soft. It doesn't feel like uncomfortable. I wouldn't believe it would be uncomfortable on the dog. Posey's never complained. Um, this one is in like a black kind of crocodile, um, black patent leather crocodile print. And the way that this is used is the dog's arms, front legs rather, go in here and it comes all the way up to their chest and you bring it around the back and buckle it in. And there's a little D-ring. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how this goes on in case I wasn't making sense. You put it down this way. You just put your little dog's feet, right? I'm trying to make sure I'm in the view. Just put your feet, dog's feet right into the holes. It's It looks like a bra, but their legs go in there and I bring it up and just buckle her up on top. Really simple. That's that, and here's that little um, bow that I have on it. I have another one I switch up for Halloween and different holidays. And then you just take your leash of choice, latch it onto this, and here it is. And so all of the pulling is more on their chest, which is 
not something that's gonna irritate them. There's no pressure here on her neck. Hi, Posey. Say hi. So yeah, this one, she just walks and walks and walks and is never coughing or making choking noises. Not that she does that a lot, but sometimes I do notice when she gets really excited, if she really pulls, you know, it, they get that kind of hacking noise and I hate hearing that. Um, these come in all different colors and I have not had any issues. So the great thing about this harness is it doesn't go on her neck at all, it's on her chest. So there is absolutely no pressure up against their throat. And so I really think that I might stop using the other harnesses because I don't want her to um, have any damage or be uncomfortable while we're walking. This one really is great. Now let me think of the brand. I bought this one from a company called The Well-Lived Pet. You can go on Facebook, look up The Well-Lived Pet, and send a message to the owner. Tell her your dog's measurements and they will make one for you and ship it to you. This was more expensive than some of the store-bought ones, but it really is worth it. And I believe it'll probably last quite a bit longer too. I have already had this one for at least half a year um, and there's no signs of wear or tear. So that's the Well-Lived Pet on Facebook. They have lots of pictures of the different types of leather and textures, um, colors that they have. And they also have a measurement guide on there. There's not a website you can go to. You do have to look them up on Facebook. So um, I think you guys should check it out. And they also have some leashes that are really cute too. Real quick, I just remembered, I also wanted to tell you that the material used to make these harnesses comes from scraps of leather left over from designer handbags. So companies that make these designer handbags, there's a lot of extra material usually left over. And so this company uses that material to make the harnesses. So I think that's really cool too. So this one I, I do think is gonna be our go-to everyday harness. And since I'm talking about harnesses, I was just going to throw in a little thing about leashes. You know, leashes are pretty standard as long as they're the right length for you and your dog. But um, I did a tutorial before about how I'll just go to Walmart or the Dollar Tree even and buy a plain um, leash. And then I buy some ribbon and I sew it down the length on each side of the leash and onto the handle and then she has a cute little leash to match her harnesses. So that's kind of fun, that one I love. This is actually the one I did a tutorial on. It's a sweet little ladybug print. I made a little bow and sewed on a rhinestone. And we always have our little doggy bags on here. But one of my favorite leashes is this one right here and I ordered this one online. It has a leather handle with a little bow, just a simple bow, but this is all beaded all the way down with a nice latch at the bottom. And if you can see here, it's pretty heavy duty wire, like a thick kind of wire underneath this plastic tubing and then the beads are on top of that. It's heavier than a typical leash um, like this. It doesn't bother me, doesn't bother Posey, and I just think it's adorable. I love taking her for a walk with this. It's so pretty. I hope you guys like this video. I would really recommend going to a well-lived pet on Facebook and checking out their harnesses. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, here's Posey walking in this harness. As you can see, she's totally happy. And she is pretty much pulling me, which I realize is not the best way to walk your dog. We're working on her staying to my side, but she gets pretty excited, see? Um, you can see she's really pulling. And you don't hear any coughing or choking noises because it is not pulling on her throat at all. So that's really awesome. Thank you.